What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is almost 11 a.m. here at the uh, very western edge of Wyoming. Got here about 10.30. Refueled. Parked. Went in and took care of some stuff inside. And we have put in our 11 hours for the day. Uh, really liking this getting up at midnight. Just driving when the roads are empty. I saw almost zero traffic the entire 11 hours that I was running. It was great. And uh, looks like we're going to make our drop first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, we're required a 10 hour break. We're going to do 16 just because I can't drop this till 9 a.m. So we'll do a, a few extra hours of break. Get there right when they open the doors at 9. Have this drop, take the truck in for service. Probably spend a night at home and then uh, hit the road again. So it'll be a good time. Depending on what the load board looks like. Right now, it's, I mean, it's far from empty, but it's not anything that I want just because I have something going on Thursday night that I would like to be home for if possible. And all the loads going out of my local area there are uh, very long, which is good means good pay but I'll, I might spend uh, two nights at home so I can do that Thursday we'll see anyway uh, the topic of today's video is is Horizon a good company I've had a lot of you ask me that and I kind of gave the vague eh, so far so good just because I'm, I'm fairly new um, just a little over three months and I wanted to feel them out a little bit uh, one of you reached out to me, asked me to call you to go over some, some things, and we talked for a bit, and yeah, I, I would say that Horizon is a great company. I mean, are there better? Maybe. I don't know. I have absolutely nothing negative to say about them at this point. Um, maybe I got lucky and I just got a really good dispatcher, but she absolutely takes care of me. And she, she will call me and say, hey, I know you're dropping in this area. I got this. One second. Okay. I mean, that Kenworth sounded awesome, but it really screwed with the audio. It was loud. Uh, but anyway, she'll say, hey, I got this load. I know you're dropping real close to it. Do you want it? Well, shoot. I don't have to look at the load board. Sure. You know, she, she's done that for me a couple times. I would say probably more than a couple times, and a few of them were really good loads. One of them were because she needed me, because I'm one of the... There's not a whole lot of drivers that are running the ELD like I am. So she needed an ELD, and I happened to be in the area. But absolutely, she has looked out for me. Uh, you know, I had an issue where I went over on my hours of service when I was new. I would only been working there for like two weeks, and... I didn't fully understand how the the uh, log system worked with the, the electronic device, and I screwed up. I went over over by 12 minutes, um, and that was my bad, but they just, hey, come in, sit down, tell us what happened, explain it, fill out some paperwork, and back, back on the road. Uh, no real punitive action at all other than I had to go over to the, uh, the nearest office, which happens to have a yard, which happened to have a load. So it worked out well for me. I was able to take a load, drop it the next town before that one, go there and pick another one up from the load, did my paperwork, took off. Uh, obviously, they're not trying to, to screw you if you have an, an honest, innocent mistake, not intentionally trying to cheat your logs or whatever. Uh, but hooked me up, they got the paperwork they needed to do, got me back on the road, everything was great. And that's just kind of the experience I've, I've had all the way around. It's been an outstanding company. Like I said, absolutely zero complaints. And you just, you kind of get the feeling that they actually care and they're not just doing their job. Um, I know it's a real minor thing, but it's one of those little things that just kind of lets you know the, the president of the company calls you on your birthday. Does that really mean anything? No. 
but it just kind of gives you that feeling that they care. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I have nothing bad to say, and I have tons of great things to say. Uh, I have been told that they're very hard to get hired onto, so I guess I got lucky. Uh, just filled in the application at the right time or, or whatever. Uh, they, they took me right away. Maybe it was because they knew that I would be an ELD driver and they wanted that. I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, that's enough rambling on that. Great company, nothing negative, tons of positive. Like I said, kind of hard to get onto apparently from what I'm being told. I guess I got lucky. But just wanted to give you guys your, your daily update. And I had an actual topic to talk about today. Uh, I've had quite a few of you ask me, is this a good company? You know, not just, is the, are the load boards good? Is the money good? But is it a good company? And yeah, absolutely. Um, if you can, do it. I talked to a lot of other companies before I hired on with Horizon. And just dealing with the, the recruiter service, I was horribly unimpressed. Um... You know, one of them said, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll hire you in, in September. I wasn't going to wait till September, and that was actually when I started talking to Horizon. And they just reached out to me two weeks ago and said, hey, uh, you still interested? Like, we'll hire you right now. Well, it's November. You said September, so <laughs> clearly, no. Uh, anyway... Last time you guys will see this, because I'm not gonna upload before I drop. And I went to the Black Diamond Truck Wash and right next to Thunder Road Truck Stop. And they asked me if I wanted a wax coating. It was four bucks. Uh, and I gotta say, it's holding up. Like even driving through snow and crap this morning. Truck's staying mostly clean, considering. Very impressed. So, shout out to those guys right there. Uh, Black Black Diamond, right next to the Thunder Road uh, truck stop. And I'm going to go ahead and in this video right here, I hope all of you have a great day. I'm going to relax for a couple hours, sleep for some hours, and then get back on the road at uh, 2 a.m. So, all of you out on the roads, I wish you fair winds and following, following seas. I'll screw it out with my own outro. Take care and have a great day.